In this video, we're going to do a cut test with fava beans. So these are beans that I just pulled off of plants outside. Uh, we grow the fava beans throughout the winter time because they are a great fixer of atmospheric nitrogen and they make a really nice cover crop. But when you let the plant go all the way to seed, it puts a lot of its nitrogen in these seeds instead of in um, putting nitrogen back into the soil. So here I've pulled out these four beans and we can see that this pod was fairly mature because these beans are quite large in size. So we're probably gonna have good luck with cutting these open and seeing an embryo on the inside. I picked another one that looked a little bit less ripe, a little bit smaller in size so that we could just kind of compare the two. Uh, and yes, definitely when we look on the inside of here, look at how small this bean is in comparison to the other bean. These came from the same plant, but this was lower down on the stalk, so it got pollinated and produced way earlier than um, these smaller beans. Okay, so I still end up with about four per pod. And so if I had planted this from seed and I wanted to save seed for next year, I would probably wanna select these beans that you could feel from the outside as being much closer to the size of the top knuckle of my thumb than something that's gonna be a little bit smaller like one of my fingers, okay. All right, so now we're gonna look on the inside of this bean and we're gonna to look to see if we can see the embryo on the inside. So I'm just gonna take a knife. Usually like a razor blade works really well. We're just going to kind of cut down, we're just going to cut down along the side here and see if we can get that on either side of the cotyledon so we can see if there's an embryo on the inside. Okay, so now I've kind of peeled that a little bit and I'm going to pop it open and here we go. These big starchy pieces are what you would think of as the cotyledon, okay, and inside Oh, I split it in half, look at that. So inside this, this is the little hypocotyl and um, the radical. So the radical is the little yellow piece that's sticking downwards and that will become the, shoot, the root apex. And then um, the little curve, let's see, how can we do this? There's a little curve piece right here. Maybe if we go like this. That's a little better. There's a little curve piece right here. That's called the hypocotyl. It's the root shoot axis point. So the point that you would see below, above or below ground. And then um, right on the other side of that is gonna be um, your first set of true leaves actually because this is the cotyledon. Those will fall off or shed after the plant depletes the stores of nitrogen in there. And then this was a, an extra seed coat. So if you were gonna eat these, as a food staple, you would need to remove this outer piece as well. You know, let's just try that. We can try to just remove that outer piece and then these cotyledons should just pry right apart. Instead of us having to cut them, we'll just peel this off. Oh yeah, look at that, that's good. Okay, so we're just gonna peel this off. Very labor intensive if you're going to eat these. Um, you know, invite the census man over for a nice Chianti. There we go, we've got another nice radical that would come out and be our root. And then this is already popped open. Ah, that's gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, you can focus on it. There's too many things going on in the background. Let's see if we can get you closer. So here we see the radical that's going to become the root, the hypocotyl, which is the root shoot access, that little curve piece, and then it's turning into the, the true leaves there with this tissue being the cotyledon. Okay, so that is the cut test. Now, can I still plant this? Uh, the answer is no. We've demolished this poor thing, and so uh, we probably will not be able to plant this seed now, but at least we cut it open and we could see that there is an embryo inside, and you can compare that to um, a textbook style diagram and convince yourself that there are those three parts in there. Very cool.